Thanks, Trevor. I've been at Shoreham Fire Station for 28 years now, so I know my way around. Uh, most of you, I think, have seen me before and know me anyway. Uh, four years ago, we became a community fire station. We are the first fire station in Sussex to become a community fire station. And uh, there's now two others at Hayward Heath and East Grinstead. And 30% of our work is out in the community. So uh, I go out and I do talks about home fire safety. I give advice. We fit free smoke alarms. And we also fit free alarms for people that are deaf. And people that have the care line system, the buttons that you've got perhaps, we fit alarms of linking with those as well. And it's all free of charge. Uh, people don't realise it. Things, you know, nothing's free nowadays. Some things still are lucky. <laughs> so uh, any interest to approach me. If any of you are members of any groups and you'd like a talker to come along and talk about home fire safety or safety in the home, again, we've got a presentation we can do with that. Uh, we work with a lot of young people as well. We have a course at the fire station called Fire Break where children have got problems at school, whether it be confidence, they get into trouble, they're close to being excluded. We run a course, a bit like the army. They, uh, they wear a uniform, they march, they learn to put ladders up, squirt water. It's a 10 week course. At the end of the course, we have a great presentation. Lots of dignitaries come along and present certificates to the children. Their parents come along. And it's, it's a fantastic course. We have some really, really good outcomes from that. We also run a project called uh, Coaching for Safer Community. It's a football project. Uh, who's the gentleman that does football? Hey, hey, I talked to you earlier on. Uh, we've got a team now that's all qualified football coaches, I'm included. Oh. We've got an inflatable football goal. It's like a bouncy castle but upside oh, down. Yeah. <laughs> it's got messages all over it about fire and road safety. And we go up to schools and to youth clubs <laughs> and we do talks, presentations. We work with children in the community. And by using football, the kids come along because they like football. Yeah. And while they're there, we talk about smoke alarms, hoax calls, oh, arson. Yeah. <laughs> and it does get through. Uh, in the last four years, or say four years ago, we used to get quite a few calls. Uh, false alarms about four o'clockish when the schools finish. Yeah. <coughs> we could never catch the culprits. We knew who they were. I'm fairly sure. I don't think it's your age group. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, now we don't get any, none at all. So we, we are working, proving very successful. Yeah. And we've recently found out the Shoreham Fire Station is now a national uh, pilot scheme for what we do. And we now get fire stations, sorry, fire brigades from all over the country come and see us. And they used us as a model for the community fire station. Yeah. So it's been very, very successful. Yeah. Yeah. And also, we have general people on what we call protection duties. We're just there for the community. So any event you run, you need some help, doctors to come along and run a storm or do anything at all, we're always open to suggestions. And we'd like to help you all. So anything at all, on the lines, give us a shout. Are you down at the Millwall Court on the 19th? 19th, we've got our open day at the station. Yeah. Are you down at the event on the 19th? No, we've got our own open on oh, the 19th. Bit of bad timing there, I'm afraid. Yeah. Sorry, I have to, to spit the audience, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'm here for an hour or so, so any, any questions or any, anything you need to know, come and see me and I'll try and help you. So, 